CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 10 Mensuration Page 216 Part 3 Exercise 10.2 1. Find the areas of the following figures by counting square. We have 14 different figures given here. 10.3.1 Area of a rectangle With the help of the squared paper, can we tell what will be the area of a rectangle whose length is 5 cm and breadth is 3 cm? Draw the rectangle on a graph paper having 1 cm by 1 cm squares. Figure 10.13 the rectangle covers 15 squares completely. Page 217 The area of the rectangle is equal to 15 square centimetres, which can be written as 5 multiplied by 3 square centimetres, that is, length multiplied by breadth. The measures of the sides of some of the rectangles are given. Find their areas by placing them on a graph paper and counting the number of square. Length 3 cm, breadth 4 cm, area dash. Length 7 cm, breadth 5 cm, area dash. Length 5 cm, breadth 3 cm, area dash. What do we infer from this? We find area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Without using the graph paper, can we find the area of a rectangle whose length is 6 cm and breadth is 4 cm? Yes, it is possible. What do we infer from this? We find that area of the rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth, which is equal to 6 cm multiplied by 4 cm, which is equal to 24 square centimeters. Try these. 1. Find the area of the floor of your classroom. 2. Find the area of any one door in your house. 10.3.2 Area of a square Let us now consider a square of side 4 cm. Figure 10.14 What will be its area? If we place it on a centimeter graph paper, then what do we observe? It covers 16 squares. That is, the area of the square is equal to 16 square centimetres, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 square centimetres. Calculate areas of few squares by assuming length of one side of squares by yourself. Find their areas using graph papers. What do we infer from this? Page 218 We find that in each case, Area of the square is equal to side multiplied by side. You may use this as a formula in doing problems. Example 13. Find the area of a rectangle whose length and breadth are 12 cm and 4 cm respectively. Solution. Length of the rectangle is equal to 12 cm. Breadth of the rectangle is equal to 4 cm. Area of the rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth, which is equal to 12 cm multiplied by 4 cm, which is equal to 48 square cm. Example 14. Find the area of a square plot of side 8 meters. Solution. Side of the square is equal to 8 meters. Area of the square is equal to side multiplied by side, which is equal to 8 meters multiplied by 8 meters which is equal to 64 square meters. Example 15. The area of a rectangular piece of cardboard is 36 square centimeters and its length is 9 centimeters. What is the width of the cardboard? Solution. Area of the rectangle is equal to 36 square centimeters. Length is equal to 9 centimeters. Width is equal to dash. Area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by width. So, width is equal to area divided by length, which is equal to 36 divided by 9 equal to 4 centimeters, 
Thus, the width of the rectangular cardboard is 4 cm. Example 16. Bob wants to cover the floor of a room 3 meters wide and 4 meters long by squared tiles. If each square tile is of size 0.5 meter, then find the number of tiles required to cover the floor of the room. Solution. Total area of tiles must be equal to the area of the floor of the room. Length of the room is equal to 4 meters. Breadth of the room is equal to 3 meters. Area of the floor is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Equal to 4 meters multiplied by 3 meters. Equal to 12 square meters. Area of one square tile is equal to side multiplied by side, which is equal to 0.5 meter multiplied by 0.5 meter, which is equal to 0.25 square meter. Page 219. Number of tiles required is equal to area of the floor divided by area of one tile, which is equal to 12 divided by 0 0.25 which is equal to 1200 divided by 25 equal to 48 tiles. Example 17. Find the area in square meter of a piece of cloth 1 meter 25 centimeters wide and 2 meters long. Solution. Length of the cloth is equal to 2 meters. Breadth of the cloth is equal to 1 meter 25 centimeters is equal to 1 meter plus 0 0.25 meter is equal to 1.25 meters since 25 centimeters is equal to 0 0.25 meter area of the cloth is equal to length of the cloth multiplied by breadth of the cloth which is equal to 2 meters multiplied by 1.25 meter which is equal to 2.50 square meters exercise 10.3 1 Find the areas of the rectangles whose sides are a. 3 cm and 4 cm b. 12 m and 21 m c. 2 km and 3 km d. 2 m and 70 cm 2. Find the areas of the squares whose sides are a. 10 cm b. 14 cm c. 5 m 3. The length and breadth of three rectangles are as given below. A. 9 meters and 6 meters. B. 17 meters and 3 meters. C. 4 meters and 14 meters. Which one has the largest area and which one has the smallest? 4. The area of a rectangular garden 50 meters long is 300 square meters. Find the width of the garden. 5. What is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land 500 meters long and 200 meters wide at the rate of 8 rupees per 100 square meters? 6. A tabletop measures 2 meters by 1 meter 50 centimeters. What is its area in square meters? 7. A room is 4 meters long and 3 meters 50 centimeters wide. How many square meters of carpet is needed to cover the floor of the room? 8. A floor is 5 meters long and 4 meters wide. A square carpet of sides 3 meters is laid on the floor. Find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. 9. 5 square flower beds each of sides 1 meter are dug on a piece of land 5 meters long and 4 meters wide. What is the area of the remaining part of the land? 10. By splitting the following figures into rectangles, find their areas. The measures are given in centimeters. We have two different figures here. Page 220. 11. Split the following shapes into rectangles and find their areas. The measures are given in centimeters. We have three different figures here. 12. How many tiles whose length and breadth are 12 cm and 5 cm respectively will be needed to fit in a rectangular region whose length and breadth are respectively a. 100 cm and 144 cm b. 
70 centimeters and 36 centimeters. A challenge. On a centimeter squared paper, make as many rectangles as you can such that the area of the rectangle is 16 square centimeters. Consider only natural number lengths. A. Which rectangle has the greatest perimeter? B. Which rectangle has the least perimeter? If you take a rectangle of area 24 square centimeters, what will be your answers? Given any area, is it possible to predict the shape of the rectangle with the greatest perimeter? With the least perimeter? Give example and reason. What have we discussed? 1. Perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go round the figure once. 2. A. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by in brackets, length plus breadth. B. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by length of its side. C. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 multiplied by length of a side. 3. Figures in which all sides and angles are equal are called regular closed figures. 4. The amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure is called its area. 5. To calculate the area of a figure using a squared paper, the following conventions are adopted. A. Ignore portions of the area that are less than half a square. B. If more than half a square is in a region, count it as one square. C. If exactly half the square is counted, take its area as half square units. 6. A. Area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. B. Area of a square is equal to side multiplied by side. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.